Hey guys, this is Braden with Golden Larch Designs again, and we are in the carriage suite. So this gym is actually built on top of a garage. It was kind of the allocated space from our clients. So there's a few issues I had with that to start with. One being having so much weight, not on like a concrete foundation. So just kind of making sure that we had an adequate subfloor for, um, for weights to be dropped. And also like we have like a few hundred pounds worth of, of stuff up here. So ensuring that there's gonna be no damage down the road type thing. Obviously there's like a lot of really natural daylight. So it's a really cool spot up here. So I can just take you through this quickly. So we'll start off with this rig. This is Bells of Steel. This is a Hydra rack. Because it's modular, we were able to get a little bit creative. This was a four post on a dedicated eight foot platform that we've built. So we decided to go with a smaller footprint with 30 inch cross members, just to allow for five foot of open space in, in, front, of the, in front of the squat rack. And also ensuring that when we're racking weights or we're taking weights off of our, the storage that we've, we've built here, we're not too crammed. So if we're a little bit too close, it's a a little bit awkward here. This has all been bolted into, into floor. And then we have the Bells of Steel cable tower here off to the left and the lat pull down low road machine off to the right. So we have these connected with four Hydra connectors. These are all 43 inch into a back post, which we have connected the cable system to at the back here. And we are able to utilize ideal spacing to ensure um, we can get kind of our, our plate storage there. And also there's some room for some accessory stuff and, and similar Similarly, on the other side is keeping the plates nice and close to the rig. And then we've got really, really nice uh, barbell storage here. So everything kind of fits like a glove here. Next, I'd like to kind of chat about how we came up with our concept here. There was some really nice built-ins here. It was kind of sad to take them out because they're really, really nice quality. But in taking them out, we actually gained so much floor space to have all of our strength stuff here and having this custom rig that we've built, there was no need for a, a feature wall because this whole thing basically is our feature wall. And now because we're on top of a garage and there is tile underneath here, I wanted to make sure that we could either bolt into wall or bolt into, into floor just for stability of our, our equipment. Underneath the flooring here, we have two layers of plywood that are installed horizontally. Well, they're, they're kind of crisscross and how we overlap. So it's kind of like a floating subfloor. So nothing's gonna move that way. And then we can build it off ground where we've been able to locate our platforms. One, two, three. Another one over here for a, a future cardio piece, probably a treadmill. We built it around the size of the, the flooring. So this is all really thick impact flooring, which is great for being on top of a second level and not being on top of concrete. So look at this closely. We have a really, really nice, clean transition all the way across. Platform to flooring is all at the same height. That was all clinically measured and thought out well beforehand. And they were all spaced out using these shock tiles. So everything really fits really, really nicely here. I think that's kind of like one of the really cool features about this. Or this is engineered hardwood. In our equipment selection process, we were kind of deciding what we wanted to do, how we wanted to build this rig. So instead Instead of having you know two cable towers on each side we figured it would be ideal to just kind of have something to mix it up and clients actually use this one probably the most and again we're still able to bolt into ground and this is connected to our whole hydro rig so everything here is actually quite stable so lots of access there we've got a big open window so even though we're close to wall here when you're using pull down this was kind of the ideal spot to have this so we're not too close to wall here. There's not, not much for interruption there. And I think that's kind of why we spec that for this side. This was a really, really fun build for us. There was definitely a lot of forethought going into this particular one, considering what, what went on underneath that you can't see. And that was, that was kind of the, um, the real critical thinker part of this. But I think our clients are really happy at the beginning. And it's quite common from a lot of our clients too, is should we do it? Is it worth it? We don't really know. And then once they, you know, we came to an acceptable budget and concept that worked for everybody, I think everybody was happy at the end of the day and they were super happy that they went forward with everything. So this is the carriage suite. Hope you guys like it. You can hit up Bells of Steel, their website for all of your equipment needs. And uh, you can follow us at Golden Arch Designs and find us on Instagram. Thanks.